Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be like a really quick lip swatch video so you guys can see what all of these Anastasia liquid lipsticks and this little guy here, this is a matte liquid lipstick from her. Just see what all of these look like on my lips. So if you're thinking about purchasing one for yourself, then you can see firsthand what they actually look like on the lips and on my skin tone. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure you don't miss that. And also check out my Instagram and Twitter. That will be on the screen and in the description bar below. I post a load of new makeup looks all the time and just any updates on my videos or anything you need to know. So first off, I just wanna say that the pricing on these is 20 pounds per lipstick. So it is on the higher end, however, I do think they're quite worth the money with this because they are very long lasting. I don't have any issues with eating or drinking with them on. I only really have an issue with eating if it's like any sort of oily foods, like if I have like a burger or basically anything that's really, really messy to eat. These liquid lipsticks have full opacity. They're so comfortable to wear. They're very long lasting. I don't find that they particularly dry my lips out too much and I have very, very dry lips. So that is a very common problem for me. So yeah, let's just get on with the swatches and I'm gonna show you how these all look on my lips. So the first shade I'm gonna be showing you guys is the shade Stripped here, which is like this really nice, natural, pale nude. I'll just show you a quick little swatch. So that is what the color looks like. It's just a very nudey nude. Also, please note that these lip swatches are not gonna be very neat because I'm just doing them quickly to show you and I'm not very good at swatches, so we'll just go with it. It's just a very nice pale nude, really. Um, I feel like this will go with absolutely any eye look that you wear whether it's browns like I am, whether it's bright blue, whether it's pink, you get the gist. It will match with everything. I don't know why I never wear this. This is such a pretty color. This is really, really nice. I think this complements my very pale skin tone quite well, to be honest. But yeah, that is I'm Stripped, and I think that's a new favorite. Yay! Okay, so you can tell right now how long wearing they are because I've literally just applied it and I've tried to take it off straight away and it is not budging. It's, it's completely set down. I don't remember this about it. This has gone completely matte, like this is not, that's really, really impressive. So the next lipstick shade I've got from her line is the shade Toast. This kind of almost looks like a nude as well, but it looks more dark. Oh, that's nice that was an awful swatch so this has got more of like a brown kind of like maroon undertone to it which is really really pretty so I'm gonna try and apply that now I don't know if I call this a nude because this is a lot, lot darker. This is almost like, I don't know, it's kind of like giving me more like romantic vibes, like kind of like date night sort of look. It's just like a very nice sort of brown with like a really nice kind of like mauvey, purpley red undertone. I think it's really, really pretty. I think this would be really, really complimentary on a lot of skin tones. And the next shade I have to show you guys is the shade Days. This is kind of like a pinky red which looks like that they swatch really beautifully so yeah i'd say this is like a hybrid between a very rich pink and a deep red color i'm just gonna apply this Okay, so that is what that looks like. I feel like these lip swatches are just getting worse as we go along. Like, it's taken off all my foundation every time I tried to remove it. This is stunning. 
this is literally like excuse my poor application but this is the perfect going out date night lipstick like this is absolutely gorgeous i just love the pink undertones in it i just feel like it really i don't know it just makes it more vibrant i think it's really really bringing out my eyes right now so like i approve dazed is so gorgeous and you if you haven't got it then you should go get it okay so now the next color that we've got is a little bit of a crazy one this is in the shade requiem i think this is so so nice if you're someone who really likes bold colors and likes to stand out i think this is going to be amazing for you also like even if you just want like a halloweeny look or something more vibrant i think this is a really really good colors this is what the shade requiem looks like i think this is a really nice color it's like in between a blue and a green so maybe i'd say like a very deep teal and it's almost got like a sort of like semi metallic finish which i think is really really pretty Okay, so this is what Requiem looks like. I think this looks so cool. I don't think I've ever worn a color like this. Um, if you're someone who likes really bright and bold colors, I think this is gonna be amazing for you. Personally, on me, I don't think I can put it off at all. I just do not think it suits me, but I would love to be able to wear this color because this is just so gorgeous. Um, I have got a little bit of staining from the last lipstick because when I try to take it off it's just smearing all of my foundation so I'm trying to avoid that so it's a little bit messy but I think this is so so pretty. I literally look like I've just eaten a smurf. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> Why did I say that? So I thought I just had to film this to show you guys. I've tried to remove the shade Requiem and this has happened. Um, like, I'm using makeup remover and it is just not coming off. I've been here for like a solid five minutes now and it's just not like, I look crazy. But like, I'm really scrubbing. It is just not coming off. Like, so if you are going to be using this, make sure everything is like, your makeup's fine and that... I don't know like you're not going to be taking it off and then trying to reapply stuff like I am because it is not going to work and I'm going to have to redo all my foundation on this part of my face so just thought I'd let you know that okay well that color is finally off my lips um it's all smeared everywhere I can't do anything about that so I'm sorry let's just get into the other color so this is the shade current and it looks like this this is a kind of this is a very deep red color I'm just gonna apply that and hope to god it doesn't stain so like I said it's a very rough swatch just because it's just going all wrong now I've got lipstick all over my teeth all over my hands and it's just a mess um so this is what the shade current looks like on like I just think it looks so so pretty it's so bold I think this with a very like natural eye look and like a load of highlighter would just look stunning okay so I've got majority of that off and you can tell my lips are an absolute diet need of a lip scrub and some lip balm because they are bright pink everywhere like <laughs> It's just awful. Okay, so finally we have the matte liquid lipstick from Anastasia. This is in the shade Kiss. This is actually my favorite lipstick at the moment. I find, honestly, I prefer this to the MAC formula. They're very like on par, but this one is just so, so creamy. It's so long wearing. I don't have to worry about like it making my lips look really dry or even like making them more dry than it is. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna try and swatch it here. This is just a really nice nude with like a pinky undertone. This is kind of like my everyday lipstick.
Okay, so it has made my lips look a little bit dried, but that's because of the liquid lipstick. It's just trashed them. But that is kind of what it looks like. It's just like a really natural, neutral kind of like pinky nude. And it's just a really, really good everyday color. And I think it especially looks very good on like pale skin tones. And yeah, I just, I, this is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. Okay, so there you have it guys. That is kind of like my lip swatch video and that you know all the colors and how they look. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this because I have suffered so much. My lips are like so dry. It's taken off all my foundation around here where I've like really scrubbed it, especially Requiem. I don't know what was going on with that, but like it did not want to budge. But yeah, that is what all of the lipsticks look like on my skin tone. Like I said, they're really long wearing. They have very full opacity. They're very like comfortable to wear on your lips. But if you are trying to remove them, make sure it's the end of the day before you go to bed. Otherwise, you're gonna have to redo your whole face, like I'm about to in a minute, which is great. So yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for my pain, please. Thank you. Um, and like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for my uploads every Wednesday and Sunday. And yeah, until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.